Bryce Young and Will Anderson had a press conference today. They both said they're playing in their bowl game, and it's it's a uh, grads. Yes, Alabama I, I, kids, tough, competitive, want to play anytime <laughs> the ball gets rolling out onto the playground. That's exactly what they said. That that oh, they must have talked to Rick Spielman because that's exactly what he said <laughs> on last week's podcast. And um, it is interesting because again, it's 2022. It's not 2017 when Leonard Fournette and Christian McCaffrey were first sort of started opting out of these bowl games. And more importantly, uh, Alabama's not playing for a national title. They're playing in the Sugar Bowl against Kansas State on uh, December 31st, which is a great accomplishment if you're not Alabama, if you're another, if you're for Kansas State, for example. But you're reading more into this as an evaluator if you see Will Anderson and Bryce Young say, well, th- these are our teammates. We're not leaving them hanging. This is what we signed up for. We want to have an opportunity to continue to play, so on and so forth. Like that to you sticks out. Yeah, no, because it's competitive. They have some loyalty to their teammates, uh, even though they're not in the Final Four playing for a national championship game. They want to go out there and play with their brothers that that they've been in the locker room for the last three or four years. And they want to go out there and prove a point that if these other guys are going to opt out, that I'm going to show you and show everybody in the NFL that if there's an opportunity for me to play, I'm going to go out there and play. And you're talking about guys that are probably top five draft picks in this year's class coming up. So let's talk about that. We've talked about Bryce Young before, but let's talk about Will Anderson because I think right now, um, in terms of the non quarterbacks, you mentioned Bijan being in that conversation. Obviously, Will Anderson's going to be there. Jalen Carter's going to be there as well. Let's start here. Is there anything that concern, <laughs> concerns you about Will Anderson's game? In my most recent mock draft, I had him going number three overall to the Seattle Seahawks who desperately need a Will Anderson on that roster. I don't know what the holes of Will Anderson's game are, but I'll ask you because that, you know, this was your job for 30 years. So you didn't find any holes in his game. I was pretty impressed with the way he played football. Yeah. Now I'll just tell you this. I watched all of his 2021 tape and I thought he was the best defensive draft prospect to come out of Alabama in a long, long time. This year, there were some little ups and downs, but there's no question that this kid is going to be able to stand up from a two-point or put his hand down from a three-point, be able to rush the passer, have an influence on the outcome of games. We've seen what uh, Thibodeau did last night as he continues Mm -hmm. to grow and becoming a superstar uh, caliber type player. And I think Will Anderson has a lot of those traits, what you watch on the tape. The other thing, that really takes it to another level for me is we just talked about he's going to go out and compete and he's going to play in a sugar bowl, but he is one of the most humble kids that I have ever interviewed. And I spent some time with him down in Alabama. Uh, All he wants to do is know how he can improve and how he can continue to get better. In his mind, he said, I don't believe I am where I need to be yet. And I need to keep going out there and continue to prove to myself and to everybody else that I can get better every time I step on that football field. So you've, look, I mean, mean, you've been doing this for most of your adult life, and you've been in rooms with probably thousands of players at this point during the pre-draft process. And I would imagine some of them have told you the things that Will Anderson told you, and you knew they were BSing you, and other times you thought they were sincere. Is Are you sure? That's I guess that's what I'm asking. I, I would bet my house on it, even though I'm homeless right now, since my <laughs> house got yeah, washed away in the in the Hurricane Ian because I live on Sanibel. But I would bet my house on it if I had one that he's one of the most sincere kids that I've ever spoken with. And that's a huge box that you check. You don't have to worry about anything yes. when it comes. You don't to have that. to worry about character, about maturity, about passion for the game, about about wanting to improve. Uh, always looking to get better uh, in practice. When I was down there during the summer, going through two-a-days, this kid was one of the hardest workers I saw during two-a-day practices. And if you can get through two-a-days down at the University of Alabama under Nick Saban, the NFL is going to be a cakewalk when you get into that training camp. 